Imagine not being able to do laundry because the prostitutes are doing their hair in your laundry room. Um, you can... Your neighbor. Oh, hi, Officer McDonough. Um, you rang my bell uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, I think that was cleared up. But um, I'm calling because the man next door to me, the 7 0 guy, let me put it this way to you. There's going to be a community meeting next week, and I'm simply documenting the amount of prostitution traffic in and out of the building. For all I know, I, he, I don't tell him to look at this. Um, and I don't know that he does look at it. I would think he doesn't. And so I'm not like in his face with this camera at all. And I just happened to be standing at my door within the past hour and he was walking in. It smells like gasoline because uh, the super was painting, but he walks in and, and he mumbles to himself, but I recorded all this. He mumbles to himself, gas, like, hmm, said, I'll blow this fucking, I'll blow this motherfucking complex up. He says it to himself, you know, which is whatever, but I kept listening and recording this, and he knocks on uh, Regina Holcomb's door about something, and then he starts talking very softly, but says that I'm filming him, and if, he said, any woman he brings here, she says, is a hoe. And People he said, don't like to be filmed, young lady. Excuse me, I'll finish. And he said, he said he's going to kill me, so that's why I'm calling, so maybe let me finish. He says, Are you calling the police? He says that if his mother comes and she puts some, and I put something up there that says, Old Lady Ho, he says, I'll kill her. Now, first of all, as I said, 
I am not in his face. He's bringing heroin traffic prostitution here, and you're calling me young lady? Yes, I called you young lady. Disrespectfully, and, and that would be because I called because I thought you could go talk to him and make sure, one, he's not serious about blowing the place up because, as you could say to him, there is a tape of you saying that you would blow the motherfucking place up and then you talk about you would kill... Raina Fortini, because uh, she took some pictures of prostitutes, whatever. However you want to say it, he wouldn't deny it because he said Did it. Did he make a direct threat to you? He said it to another person that he would kill me. So I thought it would but sort of... Know he said to another person? So I thought it was reasonable that you might talk to him, especially since he's in there with a prostitute right now, and make Man, sure things are okay. If direct threats to you, then you should really stay away from him. If he bangs on your door or bothers you... Ask, okay, ask, me, ask me when the last time that I actually saw him in person was. And I couldn't tell you. I don't. I look out my window before I leave my home for the past two years. I have Regina Holcomb saying that she called you because she was afraid I was going to call you because she threatened to beat me up. You come here and tell me it's my fault. And I guess you still don't have that straight. So I'm living with these people for two years now. You su you show them support by kind of patting them on the back, so to speak, and Man, saying, I'm yeah, you have to... Things you're talking about. Okay, well, that's why I'm recording this phone call, because it's very clear that I could not be more clear about this problem okay. that I'm living let, with. Let, let me be clear. And I'm not sure... You directly, you overheard him say something about you to somebody else. No, I heard him say he would kill me. Okay. But he didn't threaten you directly. He said it to Regina Holcomb, who killed her three-year-old. I understand. Yeah. Okay, ma'am. Duly noted our vice sergeant, okay? Well, uh, what does that mean? That means I'm going to tell the sergeant on the situation, and he's going to make a decision on what we should do. Okay, because I don't understand why it would be so hard for you to just knock on his door, see the prostitute for I yourself. Have, I have certain things I have to do. You tell me what the problem is, I'm going to transfer it. Speak to it about my sergeant. He's going to make a decision if he wants to send a car. Now, okay, well, I have, I have a vet appointment at 4, so I'll be here just before that. Well, we're not going to go by your schedule. If we need to speak to him, we're going to speak to him on our schedule. All right, That's, that would be preferable. I'm just saying, if you need to speak to me, I won't be here. Why the animosity? Why do you treat me so disrespectfully for 15 years? I forgive and you still disrespect me. Explain I'm that to me. Honest. You're the only one yelling at me. You've been yelling at the phone since you called. Again, that's why I recorded it, because I couldn't be more polite. Okay, have a good day, ma'am. Yeah. Then why would you go in there? Then why would you go in there and tell him? I was talking to a neighbor. She has your conversations in your home up on YouTube with lies underneath it. Call saying that you um, hire prostitutes. This is he threatened to put a hammer in my here. head. That has nothing to do with me. And you, way you treat and I said he's got traffic prostitutes. That has nothing to and do you go with out of me. your way to tell that him nothing to that do I recorded with him. Yes, because you have no business recording, recording prostitutes. Because Uncle Jimmy was based on everybody expressing themselves in um, any way, shape, or form that they can. That's not real? That's not real. Oh, is that what's going on? So I'll keep praying for you. Just leave Okay, so alone, when, we, when we all go inside and see the prostitute coming out, um, you can... If I say I'm gonna beat your ass, I'll beat your ass. Okay. You don't say nothing, nothing about this. I'm warning you. Don't record it. Videotape that. That's a warning. That's a.
fucking 20. So they get, the just gives 40 for 20. That's not real? That's not real. Oh, is that what's going on? So I'll keep praying for you. Hello? I said, yo, your bitch said that we were supposed to be doing a threesome with her on Saturday. Imagine not being able to do laundry because the prostitutes are doing their hair in your laundry room. Okay. Okay. Nothing. 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 I'm warning. Videotape that. That's a warning. That's a. Oh. Okay. But you need help. Get help. There are doctors that will give you medication that will help you. When the public can actually talk about something other than the, the, they lost their dog to some dog catcher 15 years ago. Why would you encourage him? You know he's violent. You've seen the prostitutes. You've seen my videos that are there to protect myself. You laugh. You're gonna, you're gonna shut up and you're listening. I'm security. Imagine not being able to do laundry because the prostitutes are doing their hair in your laundry room. After the pimp spit on me yesterday for taking a picture while in my car driving away, Officer Nappy said to me, well, how do you know they're prostitutes? So I texted her and said, are we still doing it? Because I ain't know nothing about it. The bitch is a lying motherfucker. That's what he said. Yeah, 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 man. No, I know. It's all right. She gonna go around and fuck whoever she want. I, I just gotta get me okay with that. I said, well, I'm just telling you to your face why I did that. You text me asking why I asked her that. That's why I asked her that. He said, no, 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 man, it's a cool sign. I did like this. I'm not gonna shit fuck with me. I don't do it. That's what No, you fucking know it, bro. What? You really you know you are. Yeah, exactly. I don't even know why you would cross a line like that because you knew that from before when I told you when you accused my son of stealing your raggedy ass bike part no, no, when he drive a car. This started over two years ago when this man threatened to put a hammer in my head and I started paying attention. Wait, don't move, don't move. Stay there, stay. I know that woman. Which one? The woman with the green top. That's harassment. They're bullying me. They're harassing me. Again, uh, it's unfounded. All right, I record it, and you can call us just as easily as they did, right? If you're getting harassed. Even the cop that came to the door said she needs to be put away. She needs to yeah. Be yeah. Yeah. She's she done. Is she done? With lies underneath it, Cole is saying that you um, hire prostitutes. I might have a little white lies, but if I'm in desperate need. Well, if you do a little white one, you'll do a little red black one. And I'm sorry, I just have to take a picture of your shirt. And so the man is wearing clothes just like me. I'm not trying to fight with you. Give me a break. You're going to shut up and you're going to listen to me.